There was quite the scare at this school bus stop. A woman was seen on video holding an assault rifle. I would not hurt nobody else's child because I wouldn't want it done to my child. When this happened at a North Stanley Middle School bus stop, the school activated its safety plan and the sheriff's office began investigating. Tina Terry spoke to that woman about this, asking why she was carrying that gun. Yeah, that woman says another student here at North Stanley Middle School was bullying her son on the school bus. She wanted to confront the bus driver about it and says she just happened to have that rifle in her hand when she did. This Stanley County mom caught on camera holding an assault rifle at her son's school bus stop. She didn't want to show her face when I talked to her, but wanted to tell everyone she meant no harm. I would not hurt nobody else's child because I wouldn't want it done to my child. She says on the first day of school, her 11 year old son left North Stanley Middle School on the bus. During the ride, he texted his mom saying another student on the bus was bullying him. She wanted to talk to the school bus driver about it, but before the bus arrived, she says she saw dangerous animals coming out of the woods near her home. If they were here, they would have seen coyotes on my property and I was scaring the coyotes off and when I was coming back up to my house is when the bus pulled up. She says she still had the rifle in her hand when the bus driver called her over. She started talking to the driver about the bullying incident. She said she would take care of it. She would talk to the principal. But someone on the bus recorded her and some parents were upset. No, not bringing a gun to the, uh, you know, to a bus. Stanley County deputies investigated. They say the woman didn't assault anyone, point the gun, or make any threats. Now, obviously, we're going to suggest that no one take a firearm to a bus stop to, to pick up a child, but as far as it being a criminal behavior, we cannot find a criminal violation. And we talked to district officials about that bullying claim. They would not comment on the details, but they did tell us that they investigated the issue and they took appropriate action. Back to you.